Oh yeah, working as a police officer will definitely change you, but it does not have to be in a bad way. Hey, what's going on? My name is Scott, and through all my years in law enforcement, I work part-time in it now after working over a decade active in it. One of the first things that I noticed was a few years into the career, I was becoming very negative about people. I was beginning to think that people were just bad. Now, don't get me wrong, no one's perfect. And I forgot the fact that out of a city of at least 90,000 people where I worked for so many years, I continuously dealt with less than 5% of the population. That means there were thousands upon thousands of people I was never gonna see because they weren't out robbing others. They weren't out committing assault. They weren't out stealing. They didn't have fugitive warrants with their name on it. You know, stuff like that. They just weren't having the police look for them or doing something that make the police get involved in trying to catch them. And I just forgot that and I became very negative. And the supervisor told me one time when he started to realize it, he said, you need to take some days off. And all it took was some time off to refresh mentally and then it helped to shift my perspective. So take time off when you need it, but also if you're a police officer and you're finding this attitude, this perspective starting to come about, start to hang out with people that are not in law enforcement who will also not bring you down. A church group, a group fitness program. Uh, some people find themselves in a crowd where it's just toxic or with people uh, that don't help build them up and you're going to be around enough negativity and enough negative people <laughs> when you're working. You don't need it when you're not working. All right, so the next thing is my self-confidence because of working in law enforcement increased day after day, month after month, year after year. Seriously, because relying on training, being able to push past fear to respond to a dangerous situation or being able to solve problems for people really made it so that speaking to a camera in front of an audience is not so bad. Taking leadership roles in community organizations or church groups, it's not so bad. Being able to set a goal for myself and work towards it because there's confidence enough to do it and establish a process to achieve that goal, it was because of law enforcement. Now, I'm not saying get into it if you need something to build your confidence. Absolutely not. If your heart and mind are not into it and you're not getting into it for the right reasons, <laughs> then don't get into it. But when you do get into it, or if you are in it, then it's human nature. When you go through a struggle or when you go through a challenge and you come out on top or you find your way to the other end, there's success and therefore there can be confidence. And then the next thing that I really noticed how I was changing was I was constantly reminded of how good I have it in the sense that I have a warm bed at night. I have a house with an air conditioning and heater. I remember I went to serve a warrant uh, one time at a house. A guy comes wrapped up in three blankets because he hasn't had heat on a house in a few days and it's, and it's freezing outside. Now, I felt bad for the man, but ultimately, yes, it, it was his life decisions that were getting him to a point where he was. But when you, as a police officer, go into these very dirty houses that are run down, and unfortunately, these people are living in such awful conditions, it makes you thankful. It really does. And you pray that they get their life back on track so that they can live better. But I'm serious. Gratitude is very important in life. And there were a lot of reminders on shift as to how much I had to be grateful for. And, and a lot of successful people will tell you, when you're in a state of gratitude, it helps you to build up your life that much more. And then another change I noticed was I continuously became more and more dedicated to physical fitness and training martial arts because I didn't want to be the first one to run out of breath. But also police officers are very much at risk for bad heart conditions. And many unfortunately die because of heart disease or heart attacks and stuff like that. Hence another reason to consistently stay in shape. And unfortunately so many police officers let their minds and bodies just go. And, and I hate to see that. So I encourage you, if you are out of shape right now, or you could be in better shape, and believe me, we could always work to get in better shape. Like with me, my problem is snacking. That's not really helping me a lot. Anyway, back on track. I encourage you just to take five minutes to exercise. Five minutes. You don't have to start and be a CrossFit champion by next week. Absolutely not. Take five minutes and do something, and then just work up from there. Don't quit. You got this. Another thing I noticed, unfortunately, because I did not always do a great job of addressing my mental and physical well-being, was I became so hyper vigilant because of the necessity to always be on guard on shift that when I would go out with friends, I wasn't present to them. Like I was not paying attention to them because I was so busy watching everybody else at the restaurant or at the concert, wherever it was, and it was filling me with anxiety and it was not good. 
And they would look at me and be like, hello, hello, are you here? And no, I, mentally I wasn't. I was still in cop mode and not friend having fun mode. That's not good. So what I encourage police officers to do to counter the hypervigilance is, yeah, just do your basic things of being aware, such as knowing where the exits are, keeping an eye on the door, but also go out with people who are aware as well. You know, they're not complacent and they think that everybody's just love, love, love. No, forget that. There are bad people in this world and there are people, <laughs> anything could happen at any time, but you don't have to be so hypervigilant that it causes you anxiety. I hope that made sense. And the next thing it changed me was, unfortunately, I did become that cop who I promised I'd never be, but I did become that person where I put the job ahead of my family and it led to my wife saying, it's either me or the job. Never thought I'd hear that, but I did because I let the job become who I was. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that's one of my biggest things. You are not a police officer. You work as a police officer. It is your job, not your life. So I encourage when you start to find that it's becoming your life, definitely have friends outside of it. You need to do that. But also think of who you are and why you're doing it. And remember, you can be of service to others in many different ways, in many different other career fields or volunteer opportunities in your life to benefit others. Law enforcement definitely changes you. You see things that the human mind is not supposed to see and police officers work endless hours it seems. I mean 12 hours is a long time and a lot of police officers work 12 hour shifts and unfortunately with the blanket and negative media attention and police under constant scrutiny even if they do something right it can really take a toll on you mentally. So I encourage police officers if you want to avoid those negative changes that I went through make a promise to yourself to grow as a person each and every day doing something that much better for yourself such as working out more, reading more, meditation, yoga. Yes, I said it to better yourself, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Click right here right now to get your free gift on how to mentally survive policing or click right here for more training for yourself. Take care of yourself and may God bless.